The nonprofit organization Faith Forward, a group that says it is dedicated to bringing people of faith together to restore the soul of the nation, is releasing a new digital ad this morning. The organization says the six-figure ad buy is, quote, meant to communicate directly to faith voters who are uneasy with the idolatry and message behind God made Trump. That was a video from Trump supporters that depicted the former president as a messiah-like figure. Here now is an exclusive first look at Faith Forward's new ad. On the sixth day, God made all of us. God said we need leaders who can unite rather than divide, who stand on morals and values, and who don't idolize dictators and bullies. God said I need someone to protect consumers and farmers from corporate greed, workers from wage theft, students from crushing debt, homeowners from discriminatory lending, seniors from overpriced medicine, and loved ones from gun violence. God said I need someone with arms strong enough to protect the planet, strong enough to fight monstrous evils spreading across the globe. God said I need someone willing to give their whole life in service. And so President Biden answered the call. God made us all. Together, we make our democracy strong. Thank God we chose a faithful president who doesn't worship himself, nor undermine the Constitution he swore to uphold. For such a time as this, we pray to God what is true in our hearts. Four more years. Claire McCaskill, uh, a, a strong, provocative commercial, obviously playing off of the one that uh, set up Donald Trump as as an idol, uh, straight out of Jeremiah. Um, what's your thought on that ad? Well, I, I, first of all, I think it's powerful. Um, second of all, I think it, the, the Biden campaign needs to lean into every single area that Donald Trump is trying to claim, including faith. The contrast between these two men and how they live their life according to faith couldn't be more bizarre and different. Uh, Donald Trump clearly is uncomfortable with the contours of Christianity. He's never lived it. He's he's never uh, he's never looked at God's commandments or Jesus's teachings as instructive to him. He said that he didn't need to ask for forgiveness for anything. I mean, how can you claim to be a Christian and say you don't need to be forgiven for anything? It is so unbelievably bizarre. And, you know, if, if you listen to Reverend Warnock, uh, Senator Warnock, about the money changers, and that's Donald Trump. They were chased mm -hmm. out. Um, and so I, I really think leaning into his faith, leaning into immigration, leaning into crime, Leading in, leaning into all of the things that Donald Trump is trying to claim as his campaign foundation is the best way for Biden to hold on to the Oval Office. Yeah, uh, you, you, you know, you, the point you make is so critically important here, Claire, because Trump followers, evangelicals, will say, "Well, everybody's done this, everybody's done that, everybody sins. Joe Biden sinned, everybody." And yet, again, growing up in the Baptist church, what we learned, and it's, it's great, again, uh, in this time after Easter, to be reminded of it, that if you're a Christian, you believe that Christ died for your sins, and you, you need to ask for forgiveness. And, you know, that you see the bumper sticker across the South, Christians aren't perfect, just forgiven. That's, that is the central core belief of evangelical Christianity. I, I can't speak for other, other uh, uh, parts of Christianity. I think it's the same. But for evangelicals, it's always been ask for forgiveness. That's always at the call after you know, you go through 20 verses of just as I am. Ask for forgiveness, it will be given. Right? Donald Trump undercuts that in a way that no evangelical I ever grew up with would, would have been okay with. But when Donald Trump says, I've never done anything wrong, no reason to be forgiven, 
they still fall right in line and say, oh, he's the second coming of Christ. I mean, they, they idolize him, and it's, it's really, it's twisted. I still, again, growing up in the Baptist church, after all these years, I just, I can't, I can't explain it. I just can't, ex I can't explain it. How they, how, how they would kind of like, this is a great follow-up to what Jeffrey's Atlantic article talks about. How do these people that I know, that I knew, that I grew up with, how do they embrace a guy like this who says, no, I've never asked for forgiveness because I don't need forgiveness from God. Yeah. Claire, it's unbelievable. Well, it's unbelievable. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm quiet because I want to let it sink in. Um, it, it, forget all the excuses that these evangelical ministers are using. You know, oh, the Supreme Court, and oh, you know, restricting abortion, and oh, he's he's not going to let people use the wrong bathroom. Forget all of that. This is a man who said out loud that he did not need forgiveness. Now, I don't know of any priest or pastor or minister in the Christian faith that would let that go and not grab onto it and say, wait, 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 wait. You need to understand the most fundamental part of Christianity, the most fundamental part. And I, I, I for the life of me, I mean, you know, look, overlook the adultery overlook the sexual assault, overlook all of that if you want. But how can he not ask for forgiveness for any of it? For any of it. That's really just mm -hmm. astounding and something that, uh, and by the way, Biden is quick to point to his faith. And by the way, Biden goes to mass. Biden knows the scriptures. Biden, he's, he's not a perfect Catholic by any means. He's not, a, none of us are perfect Christians. But he understands his faith, and his faith is fundamental to who he is. This is something that the Biden campaign should lean into, especially on topics like immigration. What would Jesus think of a guy who said that these people who are desperate at our borders, desperate, that they should, they're vermin, and they are not people? I mean, Jesus would be appalled at that. Jesus would speak out on that. And so on all these topics, he is so unchristian like. It is just astounding to me that we aren't seeing more ads like this. I hope we do. I think it's really important. Claire McCaskill, thank you very much for coming on this morning. Hey, everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on Get or the Cloud icon and enjoy it.